Hey, welcome to Bias News. I'm Ko Egle. And I'm Preston. Now we go to our first story. Recent studies have shown that you do not need to show positive emotions to feel happy. Surveys have shown that people would rather have excitement naturally than low activating peasant arousal. So turn off that naughty video because what you're watching, you don't need to be horny to be happy. That's right, folks. Don't worry and be happy. In other news, a man playing the longest game of hide and seek was finally found after hiding in a coconut tree for three years after being rescued. Filipino man, Filipino man Gilbert was hit in the head with a gun. Fearing for his life, he ran away and used his skills to climb up a coconut tree in his backyard of his house, leaving behind an ugly wife and two little monsters for kids. And apparently, his mother let him stay in the tree and would give him food. It wasn't until yesterday that authorities stepped in and decided to cut the tree down. Oh, that sounds uh, horribly terrible. Well, we're going to go to Michael. He's got some shocking news about uh, our guest right here. What? All right, thank you, anchors. I'm here at Moorpark College, where I've been given word that a student here named Cole Egley has been using a fake British accent, and it's been discovered here on the campus. Now I come here to investigate with my people here. I wish to remain anonymous. I've known Cole for a great many years. I understand that his accent is part of his speech, but his speech is not part of his accent. I wish to tell you, but I cannot, otherwise Cole and his creed will come down upon me. But for now, you must stay in the shadows. Cole Egley, I know Cole Egley, he's in my TV class. Yeah, he, uh, the uh, Australian guy? Oh, he's English? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, his accent's very, it's, oh, it's a fake, a it's a fake accent? Um, yeah, uh, you know, I thought he was Australian, and then uh, I overheard him the other day that he was actually uh, not English, but has the English accent. So, uh, you know, this is, this is revolutionary. This is incredible. You know, this is going to change the world. Yeah, you know, uh, I actually used to have uh, a British friend who moved away a long time ago, so I've really been missing the sound of that authentic British accent. And then I come into this class for the very first day, and I, s I hear something. I hear something that sounds like a British accent, and then I look at Cole, and I hear him speak again. It just wasn't, man. It was so disappointing. I How could you? I'd rather listen to cats procreate than being killed than listen to you. Really? Really? I really do. <sighs> you want to with your new brother, worship, you can pretend that you can't. Simply put this scarab behind your household and you have your friends fall into thinking you are master of their own signal time. With over seven models, you can pretend to be the captain you want. Be a salty sailor for only $59.99. Captain's hat not included. Power Rams Sports Book. Hello and we're back. Studies and news shows have shown that we rather can weather can show you if you can get an A in candy class. Speaking of which, we go to bias news reporter Olivia Anderson. Olivia, you have the floor. Thank you, Preston. As you can see here, Southern California is finally getting their weather shit together as temperatures are cooling down gradually. Thousand Oaks is going to have a nice 75 degrees with a cool breeze and Moore Park will be slightly warmer at 77 degrees with a little patch of sun, so it will be good jacket weather, but you can get some nice sun out there. Also, out in Malibu will be a nice cool surf day. It might be 70 degrees, but the tides will be high and you can shred a few waves. That's all we have for the weather. I'm not sure what it has to do with Candy's grades, but back to you, Preston and Josh. Thanks, Olivia. Now back to business. In all seriousness, seriousness, there has been a fatal plane crash just five minutes ago. Yes, a plane flying back from Turkey from South Africa. Flight 2020 has lost fuel and crashed into a mountain, killing 22 passengers including a well-known celebrity, Bill Cosby, and he will more than likely not be missed. Indeed. Just get back to happy news. Lottery fever is in the air, and a, t a ticket holder has won $500 million. Jackpot. Los Angeles resident Bill R Cosby. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, well, that's all on the news, ye folks. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. So, Olivia, why do you keep calling me Josh? I don't know your name, Philly. I uh, say every start of the show. 
Well, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, you're not a permanent member here or anything what? like that. You don't, you don't need to get paid. I started last week. Well, I mean, we're not going to pay you ever, really. What? So you, you we don't get really paid? Anything. No? What? You don't. <laughs> I mean, you don't. <laughs> oh, well, man. Well, uh, Good night, America. Good night. <laughs>